How you doing guys? This is Tyler with East Coastal Screen Enclosures out of Tampa, Florida. Today we're learning about customized mansard roof enclosure calculations. And the diagram I have here is for a custom mansard roof. If you know anything about roof framing calculations, then you'll know the run and rise formula, also known as Pythagorean theorem. If you don't, then I suggest you download the Construction Master Pro application on your phone or tablet. This is a construction calculator that will do the math for you. If you really want to get into it, it's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. However, download this calculator because it's a more practical app. 108 inches run. So from your super gutter to the outside of your post, your first post, is 108 inches. You would enter that into the calculator as 108 inches run. A 46 inch rise, you would enter that into the calculator as 46 inch rise. This gives you a diagonal from this point to this point. 117 inches and 3 eighths. That's from top to top, always. You always go from top to top. You never go bottom to bottom. So 117 inches and 3 eighths at 23 degrees, 23.07. So on your miter saw, you would turn it to 23 degrees. I will just round this down to 23 degrees and make this cut. Now, in order to obtain the mansard style roof, this number has to be divided in half. So 23.07 divided by 2 is 11.54. You would mark you would hold your tape measure to this point and run it to this point at 117 and 3 eighths. Make a mark and on your chop saw, turn it to 11.5, 11 and a half. And then you would make a cut at 11 and a half degrees. Now, remember when you're doing this, this line, this cut must be parallel to this line. If you cut it the other way, it's not going to work. Always remember that this super gutter cut has to be parallel with this cut. As for your middle beam, your middle beam here is your wall. And we'll just say that these lines, this is your purling coming down. This is the middle, and this is your purling coming down. This measurement here to here is the same distance as the outside measurement of your wall post to the outside measurement of your wall post. So if this is 108 inches and you have a two by four wall post, then you would add two inches to this. So it would be 108 to here. You would mark that and mark that. This would be two inches here, two inches here, 108 in the middle, if you divided it correctly, plus 2 inches is 110, plus 2 inches is 112. Now, 
So this is 112. From here to here, 112, 11.54 degrees. And if you come over here, this would be a customized cut. We have a 42 inch run. So a 42 inch run at the same rise, 46 degrees will give you a different diagonal and different, I'm sorry, 50 inch run. A 50 inch run at 46 degrees will give you a different diagonal and different degree cuts. We put in 50 inch run and 46 rise in the calculator, it gives us 67 and 15 sixteenths diagonal. That's from this point to this point. That gives you 42 degrees, 42.61 degrees from here to here. And now at the top, you have to divide this in two, which gives you 21.31. 21.31, 42.61. 60, I'm sorry.